I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course, confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted, in which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, my... Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me puff Dunkeen. Dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. You're defending Hogsmeade. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Finally, have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. And why is she always holding his hand? Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling.
This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. The Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Transfiguration requires such precision. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's scheme dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's scheme dunking for me. <laughs> <laughs> 